go. We really shouldn't be here. Shrines are conduits to their princes, and this one, this is the shrine of Merunas Dagon. Let's just leave. Well, this one's, this one's different. Please, I'll explain later. Let's just get away from this place. Thank you. The sooner we're out of here, the better. Pieced it all together, have you? Aye. They've followed his doctrine, and for a time so did I. Believe me when I see it, it's part of my past I'd rather forget. I shouldn't be keeping secrets from you, I know. Before I say anything, just know I'm a different person now. Or I'm trying to be. That life, I've left it far behind, so... So what do you need to know? Believe it or not, it was when I killed their leader. He had a pretty good bounty on his head and I wanted it. I expected the others to retaliate, but they actually commended me. Twisted, eh? But that's how it all started. I was alone in the world and killing people for money. They gave me a place to belong. At the beginning, I think I was actually happy. Merun's Dagon rules over destruction, change and revolution. The Blooded Dawn believe this a necessary evil. Fires that purge the old to make way for the new. The weak are hunted to make room for the strong. The only way to know the true self was through suffering and violence. They saw beauty in torture and death that could rival the Dark Brotherhood. The truth was, they were just violent people, willing to justify what we did to others around us. Then there was one night. One night where I just couldn't justify it anymore. The farm happened. It was a small estate outside Leowin. We were raiding it for supplies, but everyone just got out of control. The things that were done to that family. I wish I could forget it, but perhaps I don't deserve to. Night after night, I couldn't get their screams out of my mind till the only thing I could think to do was well, destroy the cult itself. Aye. Sort of. It, it didn't go exactly as planned, you see. I... I had a woman at the time. Rosalind. She was the clan's priestess. Very talented in conjuration magic. I didn't want her to die with the rest of them and I thought she'd be on my side. Stupid assumption I'd ever made. I wanted to know if her magic could make me stronger. She said it could. Well, she turned her magic against me instead. When someone you think you love tries to burn you alive in the fires of oblivion and summons Demora to tear the flesh from your bones, it tends to change how you see them. I know it was destroyed in the fight. I don't know if anyone survived it. <laughs> yeah. There might be a cause of a few... prejudices. Aye. All the same. I'm sorry I kept it from you. Traitor! What? A Demora? Lord Dagon demands reparation. He will claim your soul, then feast on the blood of the Dragonborn. Dagon? I'm not a puppet of that beast anymore. Tell me who summoned you! The time for talk is done. You will bleed. Uh, uh. 
something. It knew my name. It came for me. I thought I'd left all that behind. I thought... It might be. But it was only a messenger. I don't think we'll get away from the threat so easily. You heard what it said. Revenge. I crossed a Deirdrick Prince. I should have known his followers weren't going to let it go. It might have been any one of Dagon's followers. Even one of my old friends from the Blooded Dawn. That... she did. And if she had actually survived that night, I would not put it past her. I think it's clear I can't turn my back on this. Not this time. If I don't face these cultists, they won't ever stop coming after me. I need to find where they are. Strike them down first. I will. If it means keeping you out of the clutches of a Daedric Prince. <laughs> I suppose that's true. But I know what these people are capable of. I couldn't live with myself if they got their hands on you. <sighs> I should know by now not to fight you on these things. I've seen these before. Wards like these were used on one of our hideouts. In order to cross them, you need to be in possession of a particular talisman. No, but I know how to make one. Though some of the parts needed could be hard to find. Fire salt, a Deirdre heart, and black soul gem fragments. Then a pendant made from bone to hold all the elements together. That much I can do. I'm pretty sure fire salt should be easy enough. You can collect those from a flame antronarch, or buy them from an alchemist. Deirdre hearts might not be so easy to find. You can rip them out of the Deirdre themselves, but I don't think there'd be many who would sell them. The gem fragments will probably be the hardest to come by. I don't know much about how they're made or what it takes to break apart a black soul gem. That's the realm of necromancers, that is. Perhaps we should ask there then. I'll get to work on the talisman right away. Good morning. Always the perceptive one. <laughs> yes, little dragon, I'm fine. I didn't sleep much as all. The thing about laying next to a dragon is the roar. <laughs> and you snore too bloody much. By the nine. I don't want to talk about it. I said I was fine. Just leave it alone, will you? You're always picking at my fucking thoughts. My brain isn't a puzzle door for you to unlock, Dragonborn. Let it go. The blood shed a hand, to be honest. I might not know exactly what to expect, 
but I do know there's no possible way this will end peacefully. Aye, and one I won't reach until I finish what was started with the blood of dawn. But you're right. I'm making a new life here. A good life. And I won't let those bastards take it away from me. Get off me bollocks, would ya? I'm fine. Just... I've got shit on my brain, that's all. In case you don't remember a fucking Demora knew my name! It's a bit fucking much to process, yeah? Just leave me with my thoughts, will you? Please, leave me be. You won't let this go, will you? I don't be chasing around after you every morning demanding that you tell me every thought in your head when you were sleeping, do I? Why do you do this to me? I'm not one of those people sitting around with me thumb up me arse waiting for the almighty dragonborn to swoop in and solve all me problems. You can't fix this. You can't fix me. I'm not like you. I can never be like you. I'm not the hero of this story, Dragonborn, and I never will be! Kaiden, you feeling alright, pup? Had a rough night again. I'm fine. Leave it be, Vilkas. We're here for you, brother. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be. You should both go back to your Vizcaya and find something actually worth your time and energy. It sure isn't fucking me. That's a load of horse shit. Aye. Not sure what brought on this burst of melancholy, pup. But we'll not be sipping from that bitter tankard with you. Ah, there's plenty out there. People worthy of your help, man. I'm not fucking one of them. And I'd rather be doing this by me fucking self anyway. However, since no one here seems to give a shite what I think or what I want, how about you just both leave me to me fucking thoughts? Ah, there you are. Aye. We've been speaking amongst ourselves about our growing concern. A Dramora attack is understandably unsettling. However, his behavior and the melancholy he has begun to wallow in since have made it clear that there is more to this than we know. Knowing the two of them as I do, I do not think they will give him a choice in the matter. In the meantime, my shield sister, know that you are not alone either. I will stand beside you. As do we. Our beasts will not settle. They can sense the wrongness in the air. Whatever it is that's haunting Kaiden, we fear it's just beginning. I don't want to talk about it. Why can't you get that through your head? Isn't it enough I told you about me past, eh? The cult, me fucking childhood, the things I've done, even me fucking tattoo for fuck's sake. Always with the questions, poking and prodding like I'm just another lock for you to pick. Well, there's no fucking treasure to be found in me, Dragonborn. Just shite. Absolute fucking shite. I've killed innocents before. Little dragon. What makes you think I won't hurt you someday? What makes you so sure that you can trust me? You'll see. When we die a warrior's death, you'll find yourself alone in Sovereign Guard, and I'll be consumed in flames. I've got 
got enough blood on my hands! Don't make me wear yours! <coughs> Kaiden. I'm really not in the mood for a chat today, Farkas. You need to be telling us what's going on with you, Pop. For fuck's sake, I've had a bad dream. Probably the fucking stew was off. I didn't know. It happens. Too much to drink. I didn't know. Don't be making a bigger deal than it is, Vilkas. It is a bigger deal when you scream all night like a rabbit caught in a trap. Aye. Not to mention wake up looking like a haunted man and snapping like a cornered beast. If you don't want to be seeing me face when I'm this fucking tired, or hearing me having a bad fucking dream, then just leave! Fuck off! I don't fucking care! Otherwise, just get off me fucking back already. What's wrong with you? What part of leave me the fuck alone do you not understand, Farkas? The part where you expect me to turn my back on my friend when he's clearly going through some shit. Aye, well maybe you should get a better fucking friend. Or maybe the one I have should pull his head out of his ass. Aye, whatever. Not in the mood for this shit right now. Don't like how I'm behaving, I've got a simple solution for you. Go back to Yorvaskir. Kai, I'm not fucking doing this. In one way or another, pup, we need to be having a conversation. No, we fucking don't. Look, I appreciate all the concern, but I am not a lost pup. I am not a companion, and I am not your fucking problem. Whatever I got going on in my fucking head is my fucking business, and I do not feel like sharing, okay? A trouble shared is a trouble more easily solved, Kaiden. I never was fucking good at sharing, and I don't see why I need to be changing that now. Something isn't right, brother. This isn't like him. I know, Pop. The things he screamed in his sleep last night gave me chills. Aye. There was a stench in the air this morning as well that made my skin crawl. Reeked of decay and charred flesh. Stronger this morning than yesterday. Keep we on guard. Be, Getting into the sworn territory out here. For now, we'll bite our tongues and bide our time. Stay sharp, little brother. Hey, do you, uh, do you maybe have an eel? I'm feeling a mighty bit of thirst. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. My arse is just, uh, dragging the deer. I feel like I, I need a, a little bit of a lift. You know, a nice mead. Fuck, I'd settle for a bit of wine. Or even a fucking stamina portion right now. Whatever you've got, go on. Please, anything. Never thought I would say God, this, I need but it. I kind of miss the singing. Oh, for fuck's sake, get off me fucking back already. Are you still going on about this? I don't want to fucking talk, I want to fucking drink. I'm tired of talking, I'm tired of feeling, and I'm getting really fucking tired of having an answer to you for every goddamn thought that I have. I'm a man. And I'm tired, and I want a drink. It's that fucking simple. Just never mind. I'll go buy one myself, eh? Fuck me! Fine! You want so badly to know what I'm thinking, Dragonborn, then I'll fucking tell you. I'm thinking you should leave me. Find another fucking man to be your shield. One who hasn't spent almost half his life telling his honor to sod the fuck off. One who is more than just a mass of muscle with an empty brain and a fucking cock. One who will be your equal because God knows that I'm not. Maybe Rosalind was right about me. Maybe I am. Only good for fighting and fucking. 
I was a fool to think that I could amount to something. Make something of myself, be a fucking hero! <laughs> well, if it hadn't been for birth and me, maybe my own fucking mother wouldn't have been murdered. I kill everything that I touch. If you stay with me, it could be you next. And that loss, that loss would kill what little soul I have left. I'm sorry. Look, let's just go. Not like you to drink before sundown, Kaiden. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't you be staring at us too. Why does everybody suddenly care if I want a fucking drink? Because it's all you ever do now, Kaiden. Drink, bitch, and scream in your sleep. Aye, Farkas is right. It's clear you're trying to hide from your troubles in the bottom of a bottle. That never ends well, pup. You're not me father, Vilgus. So, you don't need to be concerning yourself with what I drink, where I drink, how much I fucking drink, how fucking drunk I am, how fucking drunk I want to be! Fuck off! Aye, I'm not your father. Not your guardian either. Keep heading down the road you're on and you'll be ending up just like him, though. Aye, well, it's probably be better than having to listen to everyone bitching at me all the fucking time. I wanted to give you this, a token of my appreciation. He seeks to punish himself by pushing away those who care for him. To hide from himself at the bottom of a bottle. These are acts of desperation guaranteed to fail him. It seems the shadows that hunted him have latched onto his spirit with tooth and claw. Yet, this is not a battle you can fight for him, Dragonborn. There is a saying, it is always the darkest before the dawn. You cannot force him into the light shield, sister. However, you can choose to stand beside him until the dawn breaks. You will remain standing. You cannot afford to show any weakness of thought or of spirit. He's doing that enough for the both of you. He may be shrouded in darkness now, Silence however, you are edge. the Dragonborn, and the corruption haunting him has underestimated the bond between you. If the dawn will not break for him of its own accord, then the fire burning inside you will be his light. You're lashing out instead of facing whatever your trouble is, Kaiden. Oh, Filgus, thank you for those words of wisdom that I don't remember fucking asking you for. Snap and bite at me all you want, pup. My skin is thick enough to bear it. You're Dragonborn on the other hand. Best watch yourself before you bite so hard and scar so deep it can't heal. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? He means you're acting like a complete ass and you should knock it off before you break shit with the Dragonborn too much to fix. If you're so fucking worried, why don't you take her and go? In fact, that's a brilliant fucking idea. Just fucking go, the pair of you. Fuck off. I don't want you here anyway. I'm better off alone. I always have been, and I always fucking will be. Divines know she'll be better off. Even if I believed for a moment, we could pry the Dragonborn from your side. That will not be happening, Kaiden. Farkas and I would never leave a brother behind. I'm not really a fucking brother, though, am I? I'm fucking nobody. I'm nothing. I'm less than fucking nothing. That's all I've ever been, and it's all I'll ever fucking be. Why can't any of you say that? Those are someone else's words, and they taste like a lie. Fine. Look, just, I'm asking you for one thing. Consider it a personal favor. A last fucking request, even. You don't need to be here. I don't want you here. Take me, dragon, and go. Leave me to face whatever fucking reckoning is coming. Divines know I deserve it. Please. For fuck's sake! Ah, oh, damn. I'm sorry. 
No. I'll handle this. But I'll handle it alone. Fucking hell! You're so infuriating! You never know when to leave me well enough alone! I wish you'd never broken me free of that prison. I wish you'd left me there to rot. I wish our paths had never crossed. You should be scared of me. Scared of me. Oz, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean that. I'm just. I'm so tired. I'm so tired, little dragon. I can't lose you. Dragonborn, you keep telling me that you see more. And I've always trusted you. I've always trusted your judgment. But in this, I can't. Not when I've seen you hold others accountable for far less. Please, just let me go. Whatever happens, it'll be no less than I deserve. You can't help me with this. It isn't about trust. Not this time! I've spent years running from the ghosts that haunt me, trying to escape what I know, what I know I deserve, and it's time! I cannot bear the thought of losing the only part of my soul that I care about, but I deserve to burn for my sins. It is time that I stop running. I have to face it alone. You've always seen me differently. Perhaps not as true as I am. It's like you saw what I could be, what I wanted to be. And I thought, I thought maybe you were right. Maybe I could be more. With you. And Divines know I want to be, but I'm the villain of this story, Dragonborn, and maybe it's time that you accept that too. Fine. As you wish. Gods know I've never been able to stop you once you've set your mind to something. Just know this, love. Should the worst happen, I will freely accept my fate. So long as I know that you live. Can I just hold you tonight? We don't know what tomorrow will bring, and I just need to feel close to you. Please. little dragon. Just... Let me kiss you. Anything you have to protect yourself from fire, potions, enchantment, spell, use it all. The cult was also known for summoning Deirdre to fight. Any sort of banishing spell would be useful. Aye. I was starting to think I would have to come and collect you myself. Rosalind. So it is you. <laughs> you don't seem surprised. 
I might have been if you didn't make yourself so obvious sending Demora out to do your dirty work oh. for you. You'd even kill me by proxy. Kill you? No, darling. Not kill you. Maim you, perhaps. Incapacitate. But I couldn't kill you. Not until I had you here. And now you are. And you even brought me the Dragonborn. Though I'll be rewarded for your sacrifice. As deranged as ever you were, how did you find me? Lord Dagon <coughs> still speaks to me. He whispered of your arrival at a shrine. I'd wondered, hoped even, that you might have returned to... Well, I see now that's not the case. It was easy enough to follow the rumors of the red-eyed swordsman in Skyrim. A man with a crimson tattoo down his face. You've been busy, Kaiden, making more noble friends with the companions, I see. As if their honor could ever scrub away the stains on your soul. I was surprised to hear you're traversing Skyrim with a new love. To think you'd forget me so easily. Hmm. Seems you're still a fool for a Breton girl. Does your friend here even know about you? The real you? Don't worry. I'll relay each and every one of your sins to them, while I rip the still-beating heart from their chest. You won't live long enough to try, you psychotic bitch. There he is. There's that bloodthirsty man I knew. Do you recall <clears throat> what you asked of me the last night we were together? You wanted me to use my magic to make you stronger. Hm. Molag Ball has his vampires, her scene his werewolves. You were ready to trade what humanity you had left just to destroy our home. <sighs> <laughs> and I'm the psychotic one. Still, your idea wasn't without merit. With every sacrifice, my power grows and my mortality ebbs. Have you told her of us, what we were together and to each other. <laughs> Shall I enlighten her? Mm, yes. I do believe it's time to end this farce you hide behind. Oh, he pledged his sword to you. Did he take an oath? <laughs> he was once my weapon too, you know. He made oaths to me too. His word means nothing. He'll break it and your heart before you can turn your back long enough for him to stab it. <laughs> you think it was an innocent? <laughs> he was my weapon and obeyed every command. He and I could have bathed in the pools of bloody spill for me. Yes, your deluded sense of judgment clearly holds value. You know nothing of my oaths to the Dragonborn, nor what putrid stains I've cleansed from my soul whilst free from your influence. You know, to think Dagon would go to such lengths for our hearts without ever considering yours. Even in his eyes, you're heartless. More so than an oathbreaker. Oh, you'll never be free of your past, Kaiden. No matter how long, how far you run. You'll always belong to the oaths you made first. You know, I don't blame you for being with him. He's very skilled. Although, I must say, it did take me some time to break him in. Once you're gone, he'll come back to me. After all, Kaiden, you swore your soul to Dagon, but your body to me, remember? I'm here to collect. I'd sooner fuck a skeever than be anything to you again. Probably catch less diseases that way too, you filthy animal. You forget who you're speaking with, Kaiden. And your companion will pay with their blood for that insult. Every scream I pull from their mouth will be music to my ears. And yet another mark on the pitiful remnants of your soul. Say your farewells to your dragon, Kaiden. 
Be sure to swear your undying love and devotion as sweetly as you did to me that night. Whatever happens here, I refuse to break my oaths to you. I am your sword. I am your shield until the end. I have let a lot of people down in my lifetime, but dying for you, well, I will run blade drawn towards my atonement. I will give my life gladly. Your arrogance blinds you, Rosalind. Just as I keep my oaths to them, I would burn the world down for the Dragonborn and let that fire consume me. But first, I will cut out your shriveled excuse of a heart and send your soul back to Dagon like you deserve. Have it your way, Kaiden. Now watch as I claim this dragon soul for Dagon and know that you are to blame. There's something near. Stay close to me. I'll fix you good. Dragonborn for my sins. Gods! You're alive! I was... I was so scared of losing you. Of Rosalind getting what she wanted. Of me. To be the cause of your demise. That spell she hit you with. She's used it before. It paralyzes. But, but sometimes there's more. I worried she'd stopped your heart. I thought I would never, never again be able to catch your scent on the wind, to look into your eyes, to hear your voice. I thought for sure the gods had taken you from me. The sins of my past robbing me of a hope of a future. I was a fool to believe I deserved anything, anything more than a mindless brute. My hands are forever stained with the blood that I have spilled. I do not deserve you, Dragonborn. I can never be worthy of you. Not after this. I vow to be your sword and shield, to keep you safe and I failed you. I knew how twisted and depraved Rosalind could be. I should never have agreed to let you come. It opened the door to the evils of my past to bring you harm, and I have put you in danger. I will not ask you to forgive me. I know I am not deserving of it. I will never forgive myself. My skill with a sword, all of the training Brynjar put me through, none of it fucking matters. D don't you understand? I brought you harm! I did that! Me! I let you walk into a den of beasts more capable of cruelty than any we've ever faced. And what? And for what? Why? Why did I do that? You, you should hate me. Spurn me. I can't even look in your eyes. I'll never be half the man you deserve. No, don't say that. Not now. Not after everything. For fuck's sake. I brought you to the attention of fucking Dagon. If she had succeeded, if we hadn't, you could have died today, Dragonborn. Your very soul stolen for his enjoyment because of me. Then you stand here and you tell me that you choose me. You choose this corrupt, disgusting brute with his hands stained with the blood of innocence. No, if I had lost you, then there would be nothing of me left. I would be a broken man, an empty husk. I would be. I would be Brynjör. My gods, I wish the Thalmor had killed me. Leave you? I should. A better man would. You deserve more than me, Dragonborn. I know that. Even if you don't. No, I don't deserve you. I can never be worthy of you. But I am yours. My heart. My sword. And what is left of this pitiful man? You are the blood of my blood, the born of my born, and I am yours till my last breath. Always, 
in this life and the next. I can't see how, but for you, I will try. Fargus. Vilgus. I owe you both an apology. Fuck no, an apology isn't enough. Nothing can undo the things that I said, and you were right. You were both right. I was scared, and I thought the only way to keep my dragonborn safe was to drive her away. Same with you. I was just so fucking scared me past was going to steal the joy that I'd managed to find. Steal her away from me. Fuck. Like that fucking bitch Rosalind almost did. Fear will drive a man to madness. Especially when the one he loves is in danger. We knew that, Kaiden. Even if you didn't. Aye. You reeked of fear. Was stronger every day. Made it pretty clear why you wanted us to go. Hope you understand why we couldn't. Not really. Especially not after the things I've said. Because your head was so far up your ass you weren't watching your back. Someone had to. I'm not sure I deserved it, if I'm honest. Doesn't matter what you think you deserved. I'd not leave you unguarded any more than I would leave Farkas. Thankfully, I don't have any demonic ex-lovers that want to send my soul to oblivion. Yet. That I know of, anyway. <laughs> I can't believe you're trying to make me laugh about this, Farkas. Especially after everything that's happened. We're just going to add shite taste in past lovers to the list of things we give you shit about. Aye, this might be the one that finally tops Falkreath. You're both arseholes. Fucking arseholes. That I'm grateful to count as friends. But arseholes all the fucking same. I, uh, know I've been unpleasant to be around for the past few days, and I am sorry. The nightmares, the, the thought that they might take you, I... Uh, it terrified me. I know what Dagon does to those that he takes. And the thought of you, I... I, 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 I couldn't get past it. You know what Brynjar used to say about being afraid? Well, I, I used to think I knew what fear was, but I... I didn't. Not until I came face to face with the reality of losing you. I nearly killed you. I love you and I... I nearly killed you. I need you. I know. Well, I know that now. I've told you before, I'm not good with all this... this talking shite. Not like you. You have the soul of a fucking dragon, and what am I? I'm just a man. A flawed, arrogant wanker of a man. Sometimes I look at you and I feel like I'm... I'm holding soap bubbles in my hand. One wrong move and... It's gone. Fuck, I'm not saying any of this right. I... I'm just... I'm, I'm sorry. I should have been a stronger man. 
for you. I've been worthy of your faith and your and your trust and then you would have known how deeply mine goes for you. I, I was choking on my own fear and having that behind us, you. You're safe in front of me. It, it feels like I can breathe again. And yet I should believe that this broken soul, these blood-stained hands, this shell of a man who doesn't even know where he comes from, that he's worthy of such a prize. <laughs> Can you blame me for doubting? Don't you see? If I were the reason for your demise, every hour I jumped in front of her, Every droger and bandit that I destroyed protecting you, it wouldn't have mattered. And I would have become the monster that consumed his reason for living. I wish I knew the words, love, to help you understand. To see that this man is nothing, that his life is nothing if you are not in it. But I realize now that those chains you freed me from, they were not my first prison. I've been a captive of my own making, Dragonborn, held prisoner by my past and let it slowly eat away my future. I know now that I was alive and yet not really living. Too afraid to let go of the darkness to never fully reach for the light. I'm reaching now, love. Both hands. This heart, my life, and my soul, I am yours. I always will be. I may still struggle with my doubts, but I know now that should I fall, you'll be there to catch me, my little dragon, and help me learn how to fly. Kaiden, talk to the Dragonborn. If you want to fix things, be honest about what was broken, pup. I'm not sure how. When I think back on those things that I said, I remember the look on her face. I don't know how to even begin to apologize or explain. The few times I've tried, I, uh, I choke on me words. So write it down. Do fucking what now? See you doodling in that book all the time. Can't say it. Write it. Ha! That! That is fucking genius! Told you. Not just a pretty face. <laughs> Do you need something? That isn't necessary. You are my shield sister. That means I will stand beside you and not just in battle or on the hunt but also in any trial or task that you do not wish to face alone. While I am glad that in some small way we were able to be of assistance, remember, it was not any of the three of us that pulled him out of the darkness. You once freed Kaiden from the chains of the Thalmor. Now you have freed him from the chains he put upon himself.
I am saying that while we were here and ready to do all we could for you, you did not need us, Dragonborn. The bond between you and Kaiden, the strength within you both, that is what ultimately broke what little hold the Tainted One had left on him. I do. We all do, for that matter. Just as we know, there truly is nothing that the two of you cannot overcome together. All that remains is for the both of you to now realize that as well. Need me to take some things. My beloved dragon, I keep wanting to talk to you, to find a way to take these thoughts inside my heart and transform them into words so you will find me near me, truly near me, no more secret hidden half-truths told or unanswered questions. I want to show you my heart laid bare, with all of its broken sharp edges and hope that you might be willing to make something of the pieces. Unfortunately, I have not been one to dabble in magic, and so that kind of sorcery with words is beyond my reach. I'm not sure I could learn it from a book either. No matter how many of these horrid things you make me read, I've just not ever been the talking sort. That goes even more so when it comes to this sort of thing. Every time I look at you and try to speak, it's like my thought closes up, and I completely lose whatever bit of wit I may have been born with. I feel like a half daft fool most of the time standing next to you. You have the soul of a bloody god, for fuck's sake. Sorry. Even when writing, apparently, I am capable of being an arse. I couldn't sleep tonight. Only it wasn't my old nightmares for once. It was you. Here, with me, just feeling your warmth beside me, hearing your breathing and the soft scent of your soul surrounding me. Well, I couldn't bring myself to close my eyes and miss a single moment. I wanted to savor it, soak in it, immerse myself in you. There are times, my little dragon, that my feelings for you send me almost to madness. The need to keep you safe. It drives me more than anything in my life ever has. And yes, even finding out my past. I made you a vow when we first began traveling together to be your shield. Do you remember? I threw myself between you and harm many a time for that oath. There was duty at first, and I won't lie about that. Then, it was out of friendship. Until one day, when it became something more. That was a day that a bandit's blade came too close. And it changed everything. In that moment where I thought I wouldn't get there, that I would have to watch you be cut down. I felt something inside me break. I need you to understand. To me, you are not the Dragonborn, not a Thane, or a half dozen other titles you've collected. You are the sun that illuminates my life and drives away the darkness before it can consume me. You are the moon, shining your soft light down upon me and easing my weariness. 
You are the air that I breathe, and the very heart that beats within my chest. I know you do not think that I have faith enough in you to stand beside me against the demons of my past. It isn't that, my love. It is something so much more selfish. Stop for an eel. To think of you face to face with Rosalind. I could not bear it. My time with the cult, and yes, with her, was more than just a time of stupid choices by a foolish man. It was a time without honor, where my morality was corrupted and perverted for another's purpose. My body and my sword arm existed only for her pleasure, a time of such twisted depravity that I often feel there is not enough soap in all of Skyrim to wash away the filth that yet clings to me. The thought of it touching you in any way, no, I couldn't. It brought me. I was not strong enough when you needed me the most, when you needed to draw confidence from me in our bond and my love for you. I locked you out of my heart. I pushed you away and I hurt you deeply. I hated myself a little more every single time I saw the anger and pain in your eyes from my coldness, and it will haunt me until the day that I die. I have tried a thousand ways to think of how I can tell you that I am sorry. I know it will never be enough. It could never be enough. I can only hope that someday, if the gods are kind, I will be able to redeem myself. You are my life, and my love. There will never be another for me. I am yours in all ways that you will have me. Not for power, not for revenge, not for the glory of riches that come with being the companion of a hero. I am yours out of love. I will fight by your side. I will strike down those that would harm you, and I would gladly die for you. More importantly, my love, I will live for you. I want to live for your smile, for your touch, for the way you laugh, to live more of our adventures, and to have to carry around all your shite. I like it here. I want eels at the tavern, and nights by the campfire, and with you in my arms, for the first time in my life. I want to know what it is to truly live, but only if it is by your side. Please, forgive me. I love you more than I will ever be able to express with words. Always and forever. Your devoted shield, Kylan. Yeah, of course. What's on your mind, love? Oh. Well? Uh... <coughs> what is it? Oh? Well, that's... <clears throat> Can't believe you found it. <sighs> what are you thinking? <sighs> Can't lie. That's a relief. Man. All the same, I'm sorry I kept it from you. I don't mean to be secretive, I just... I never was too good at talking about matters of the heart and all. My life has been such a complicated mess. It means so much to me, and I've... <sighs> <laughs> yeah? Tempting. I want you. <clears throat> anyway, that's just it. I think I can tell you anything. I've never known anyone I can trust so much. 
I can't promise you everything will always be perfect. Or easy. That's not how life works. But I will always fight for us. From the first time I saw you, I've belonged to you. I still do. I love you with more heart and more soul than I have ever loved anyone. Mm. Your touch is as gentle as the moonlight glow. Moon of my life. Oh, you've got to be kidding. <coughs> mm. uh, no. Hey, sweetheart. There's something that I want to talk to you about. Truth of it is, I've been thinking about the Grove. That I used to venture to when I was a lad. Aye. Shadow Green Cavern. That's it. You do that? Could you stop being so lovely? You are driving me crazy. Aye. Wasn't sure I'd set foot here again. It's like our own world. Do you like it? <laughs> Aye. I guess it is. <clears throat> There's something that I want to talk to you about. <laughs> no, not at all. Don't worry about me. What can I say? You've been on my mind all day. Can you blame me? You are an amazing person, my love. Would you mind indulging me a little? Care to dance? I love you, plain and simple, now and forever. I do. I am yours, my little dragon. I always will be.